Jacinta. Jeku. Jacinta. Okay. Who took the 30,000 naira kept in my room? 30,000? Hey! Papa! He may be Jeku! Because I can't find his bag in his room again. Ha! Huh? must have gone back to the city with your money. Hey! This boy has finished me. What have I done to this, this, this useless boy called Jeku? Huh? But, Papa, did you check under that bag? Under your bed? Check everywhere. Ah. Come out! Don't hide! I've already seen you! Can't get a balance Eh? What is it, Ngozi? Ah, ah. What is it? You will continue running away from me until you, you will run into a trailer that will kill you. Because that is what you deserve. Tell me, why will I be running from you? Eh? I only wanted to ease myself. Oh. you long for more koja. Anyway, both of us are still saying the same thing. Mana, let me warn you. Don't ever talk when next I talk to you. If not, backhand. Foolish woman. Because why okay. all this? I have done nothing wrong to you this morning to warrant this your intimidation and embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Or is it because your son has made money? Yeah. Yeah? With your own mouth, you have said this. Tell me, which of your children has become a millionaire? No, 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 no. Say it. <laughs> I'm not about anything. Don't talk when I'm talking, no. Do not try it. Eh? When next I see you anywhere close to Amandi, if I may, I had them. If I may, Maggie, my way, blah, blah, I had them. I hate to repeat myself. Don't try it. Okay, Nanu? Don't just try it. Foolish woman. Just because your sons have made money. Yes, it's it is. Your son has made money. Are you mad? Eh? Oh, 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 come and stand here and talk to me. You are not afraid to talk to the mother of a millionaire. Foolish, stupid woman. Timid woman. Idiot. Idiot, that is the color. When next eh, you talk to me anyhow, between Foolish woman. This one you're visiting me this early. I hope all is well. There is another is that says a toad does not run in the daylight in vain. It must take a great ceremony for the appearance of Ijele, the graded masquerade. I am the latest masquerade of Ajile. And it must take something tangible to grace your company this morning. Yeah, of course I know that. So let me hear the reasons you're here. I want you to accept my mother back. Yes. But that's not all. I heard that a woman named Wakego, my mother's rival. I do not want you to have anything to do with her anymore. <clears throat> I heard what you said, my son. Uh, I don't mind forgiving your mother and accepting her back. But dumping Wakego, that's a different story altogether. I can't dump her because she was the only one that stood by me when I was in the hospital, when your mother abandoned me. Hmm. Even when I'm willing to buy you a brand new car and offer you the sum of 500,000 What did I just hear you say? You heard me loud My dear, I do. You needed to have seen the way she ran inside the bush when she saw me. Hi, Mbaki Amano Dugwa Brogaine. Hi, Mama. 
That means you are now a mask queen. I'm not going to be a mask queen. That people see you and scamper for safety. Ijele, abu mi jele, mi jele. Ijele wani. Tu o mi ozo. Ijele wani. Ne tu mi abiko. Mama kato. Na. Does he have a choice? Huh? When money is involved. Exactly. Mama, do you know he wanted a close talk? Until I promised to offer him 500,000 naira, which I've already given to him. And also, I brought him a car, which is on the way to his house now. 500 what? What? You gave a man 500,000 naira? Okay, why now? Ebuka, will you shut up and go inside? Ebuka, I've warned you, never you in your life come close to me again. Why? Am I, am I not, not your brother? Don't you have the same blood? Ha, I will say my own, I will say the truth. 500,000 naira and they can it's too much. Or, give, give, me, give, give me a stupid mouth for mouth for no just wrong reason. <laughs> I think I agree with you, Luka. Eh? Uh -uh. 500,000 is enough now. Why do you have to give him a car again? A man who is dating you should not be tricking you on the edge. He should own a car. Okay? Mama. 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 You did very well, didn't I? So what is it? Am I the one you are talking to like this, Obi? Have you forgotten so soon? Forgotten? What is there to forget? Don't tell me you are dumping me over the woman that left you to die in the hospital. And that was after his children have spread the rumors of your death. Is it your death rumor? Is it not my own? How does that affect you in any way? Huh? Obi. I was there for you. I was there. Weren't you the one that hit me in the first place? Well, you know it was a mistake. Good morning, sir. Please, is this Mazi Amandi's house? Yes, you're speaking with my family. Sir, please, can you come with me? Sir, this is the car who's on a promise you. And this is the car. Huh? Thank you, my son. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? On you. Oh, 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 Spending money. Yeah. Well, it's his money now. It's his money he's spending. You won't understand. Hmm? I, am his, I am his brother. Mm -hmm. And I have every right to be upset when he's spending his money, yeah, the money he made in South Africa, on, 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 on unnecessarily, on wrong things. But I don't want to listen to you. Leave him alone now. Eh? Kill yourself. Well, you are right. I cannot kill myself. Mm -hmm. But what bothers me is that even my mother does not know his son as much as I do. You see, Borussia, he doesn't have as much as he claims. He likes fake life. He loves living fake life. He's this kind of person that will make you believe he has 50 million when he has just 1 million in his account. Eh? And he's just doing all these things to make my mother happy. But my mom refuses to read the handwriting on the wall. And I don't want the money to finish and people start laughing at us again. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I'm very serious. Well, if you say so, talk to him privately. You don't understand. Who's on that? Will he ever listen to me? That is the problem. <sighs> okay, just 
talk to him. It's not how I'm trying. Hmm? Talk to him first. Are you sure? Talk to him and know what's up. Just, just talk to him. Hmm? Well, smile now. He says, is that why you're coming with Okay, Ogechi, ogechi, kama, ogechi, ogechi, kama, ngechi nyere mo, kama noa, ngechi nyere mo, ngechi nyere mo, kama, kama. Oh, why are you so happy? Hey. No. Whose car is this? My daughter. What you are looking at is your father's car. <laughs> hey! T -t Tell me you're lying. How, how? I don't understand. Do I look like a liar? Am I not your father? That is my car! <laughs> how did you buy a car? Okay. When? I don't understand. Okay, since you want to know, Buzon now bought that car for me. And also, 500,000 Naira cash! <laughs> I bought you that car yes. and also gave you money. Yes. <laughs> For what? <laughs> uh, well, he did it on one condition. That his mother should be my only concubine. I should let him like go. Go. <laughs> I thought I bought you a car and gave you money. Yes. Just so that his mother would be your only concubine. Yes. Uh, of course it's a good deal. Listen, my daughter, wake up and smell some Colombian coffee. We are living in the millennium. Kakajata ife, ega adiko. Whoa! 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 That's not stupid. No, that's not stupid. Ibuka, who is stupid? I didn't say you are stupid. I only said your actions are. And the money money is you can live. Ibuka will slap your tongue inside if you ever insult me with your words again. You better mind yourself. So bad, uh, I apologize. I will never insult you again. But I will always tell you the bitter truth as your younger brother. Now tell me, what bitter truth do you want to tell me? Uh -huh. That you do not have as much as you claim. Eh? You should stop all this fake life you are living and cut a good according to your size. Mommy, they are going. Hey, Buka. Hmm? Who told you what you just said? Oh, you think, you think I don't know? Hey, why are you a man your brother or man? See, I am a younger brother. I know you too well. It is unfortunate that Mama and Amarachi do not know uh, who you are. You better cut, cut down your expenditures before you get paid off and the enemies will laugh at you. I know why I'm telling you. When there is money, love becomes sweeter. You can say that again. <laughs> you know I have always loved you. I've loved you three times more than Whatever love I ever had for my ego. Yet you discarded me for no, her. No, no, it's not that. If you notice that day, my mouth was shaking when I asked you to leave me. I only did it because you abandoned me. Only for me to wake up and she's there beside me. Yeah. To make things worse, your children were busy spreading my death news. If you wear my shoes, you will do the same. But you should have listened to me. Since you claim you love me. I didn't claim. I just only made you angry so that you feel sorry. So I can accept you back. Hmm? I know who almost killed me. It's Wakeko. Yeah. That woman is a witch. Oh, hmm? oh, oh. now you know. Hmm? Now. 
What are you doing here? Eh? So, after all my numerous warnings, a me bata. Nali a queen or land. Eh? Obim, what is she doing here? Are you asking me? Okay. Hmm. Listen, hmm. both of you should not start again. No more fight here. No more fight. Me, Ngozi. Fight who? This one. Ngaka matu ya. Mwyo Diego. Ongwa mwa Diego. Eh? My friend, just get out of here. Mwa wuneyo manichwa de ganga. Get out. Are you still seated here? Didn't you hear her? Oh, Diego. Mwya Diego. I Diego. Nalie. I get them before I'm proper to go. You should have done more before. You need that shit, man. I get them before. Go now. So why did you call me out here? <sighs> Is about what we discussed earlier. Have you given it a thought? I was about doing that when I got to know how stupid you are. Oh. And why would you say I'm stupid? Even if you were richer than Dangote, I mean, are there no important things you can invest your money in instead of buying a car for a widow to date your mother? I know it does not make sense to you. But to me, it does. My mother is my greatest priority. Huh. I asked her to choose whatever thing that will make her happy. And she chose your father. Yes. Your mother chose my father. Let me ask you. If she has chosen that you kill yourself for her to be happy, would you have granted that? No. And there's no way she would have demanded for such. Because I'm also. So because you have money, because you're now rich, do you think you can oppress the poor? Hmm. Jacinto, I'm sorry if that's what you think, but I just want to make my mama happy. I see. Yes. Well, as regards to what we talked about, I have not given it a thought. When I do, I'll get back to you. But please, do not bother me again about it. Jacinta. Jacinta! Jacinta! Jacinta, is it not you that I'm calling? Jacinta, is it not you that I'm calling? Eh? Did I make me? What is it? What were you doing in Uzonaska? I don't understand. Is it Uzona? Is Kai you almost spent decades in? Or the entire question? Which one don't you understand? I don't understand you. Now why are you asking me this stupid question? Do I owe you an explanation? Thank your stars. Thank your stars that you are my friend. If not, I will tear you into pieces right now and nothing will happen. Now take this warning. Stay away from Uzona. Rap Uzona, I can't Uzona boy and came. Okay, now, I won't warn you again. Didi Amaka. Why didn't you stop me in that car? I mean, why didn't you stop me there to lay your claims instead of making the bush your home and jumping out like a monkey? Why? Oh, I am talking and you're talking. Nekwe, can you kwakwe? You wanted to slap me? Hey! Didi Amaka, you wanted to slap me, Jacinta? You don't have fear.
I saw her entering into that compound with her two left legs. Even after your warning, she still went there. Yes, Chen. Ha! What is even giving her the morale? Well, don't say. Mama, you are Diego. Mama, you are Diego. Just hold on. Let my son come back first. Mama, this one you'll not use a whole commission. All is not well, oh. All is not well. There's someone, someone disrespected and insulted me today. <laughs> that person needs to be taught a lesson. Mama, who is that? Where can you go? See, don't you think we have intimidated this woman enough? I think it's time we let her be, please. Zonna. Your mama? No, no, no. Did you did you just say this? Hey. So you want those people to start insulting me the more? You want them to be disrespecting me? Thinking that all these warnings are empty threats. So <laughs> Zona, I, I don't understand you. So, so you want them to be insulting my mind here in this village? You have to do something. Mama, Mama please stop this your emotional blackmail, okay? Okay, Mama. Even if I grant your request to arrest the super, now tell me, what will you tell the police? That is our offense. Forget that one. Leave that one to me. Just take me to that police station. I know what to tell them. When I'm more issue, I know where he's beating me. You want people to start insulting me. The way Mama is crying now, do something. I can see Mokafia, Onye Malokon, Okwa. But you and I know that Miss Oma personally took you out from this village, accommodated you in her brother's house while she's still in this village. Do not forget the fingers that fed you. Do not, do not forget the heart that beats for you when you had nothing. Now you have money. You want to forget her just like that. You want to throw her away just like that. It's not nice. Let me tell you something. You see all these girls flocking around you. They don't love you. They don't love you at all. They are just in love with what you have. They are just in love with your pockets. Your, 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 as in the money in your pockets. <clears throat> yes. They won't be there for you if you're still wretched and jobless. Chizoba, I never wanted to tell you this. But I must tell you. Mesoma's brother did nothing for me. 